His blood smells like cologne. His shirts never wrinkle. He once had an awkward moment just to see how it feels. The most interesting man in the world is a staple of marketing history. His famous punchline, stay thirsty my friends, turned a once failing beer brand into one of the top selling beers in the world. He made some famous friends along the way too. Michael Jordan, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, and even the 44th president were eager to meet him. So how did one man save a dying beer brand? Today, we're going to be taking a look at how one man changed the beer marketing standard forever. This is how the most interesting man in the world saved Dos Equis. The man behind the beloved character is Jonathan Goldsmith. Jonathan grew up in the Bronx in New York City to a model mother and a track coach father. He first got into acting after being asked to leave New York University where he partied way too much and had a fling with one of the professors. His psychiatrist introduced him to a stage director, who told him to enroll in acting school at New York's Living Theater. He remembers getting applause for the very first time and feeling on top of the world. He said for a guy who was never successful at anything, that was enough to motivate him. Convinced that he could make it in Hollywood, he packed up his old Volkswagen and headed west. Once there, however, nothing happened. So to make a living, he drove a garbage truck filled with industrial waste. However, he always had a blue dress suit at the ready in case he ever landed that elusive acting interview. And he finally got one. One of his big breaks was a role in the popular TV western Gunsmoke. I know I was beaten up 16 times on, on Gunsmoke. He parlayed that work into roles on other hit TV shows in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, including Bonanza, Hawaii Five-0, Knight Rider, and Dallas. Even with all of his success acting as side characters, he never had a breakout role, so his acting dreams quickly faded. Eventually, Jonathan went completely broke. To get by, he lived out of his truck and turned his attention to business ventures such as logging and car washing. For years, he was, in his words, living like a hobo. I was going through some financial problems at the time, so I slept in a campground in my truck. No running water. However, one call would change his fortune forever. That call was from his manager in 2006, Barbara Lovin. Barbara knew that Jonathan still had a passion for acting, even in his late 60s, so she got him a commercial audition for a small, unknown beer brand called Dos Equis. Although not a fan of commercial acting, Jonathan leapt at the opportunity of making any sort of money. Jonathan was told that they were looking for a Hemingway-esque type of character, and the audition would be an improvised story that would end with the line, and that's how I arm wrestled Fidel Castro. When he arrived at the audition, he saw a line of around 500 actors waiting to get their turn. I'm looking around, and there were probably close to four or 500 people. And I said, all these gentlemen are Latinos. I, this is wrong. So he instinctively turned around and started heading back to his truck. But with Barbara's voice in his head encouraging him, he turned around and figured he had nothing to lose. He based his character on Fernando Lamas, an old sailing buddy. Jonathan thought of how funny and charming he was, so he put on his best imitation of him, and the directors loved it. And they proceeded to ask me questions for a half an hour, almost 45 minutes and they kept laughing. I kept coming up with this BS like you can't imagine. Originally, the directors were looking for a younger actor, but the wisdom and bravado Jonathan had came across beautifully on camera. Out of the hundreds of actors auditioning, Goldsmith secured the role and shot his first commercial in 2006. At the time, no one could have guessed what was in store for Jonathan and Dos Equis. See, the reason the most interesting man in the world worked so well was that it was so different from the standard for beer commercials at the time. Every beer commercial was featuring fancy cars, hot babes, or exotic locations. But the Dos Equis team discovered that more than anything else, drinkers really wanted to be seen as interesting by their friends. And Jonathan Goldsmith, as it turns out, shares traits with the most interesting man in the world. For years, he lived on a sailboat docked off the California coast. He says he once saved a girl from drowning and rescued a man 
man caught in a snowstorm on Mount Whitney. He knows where to find a great conch salad in the Bahamas. And yes, he doesn't always drink beer, preferring a martini or scotch. The logic with these commercials was to target young men who would not see him as a threat or as a reminder of the accomplishments they hadn't achieved yet. He needed to be someone to work toward. Goldsmith described his character as every guy's fantasy, whose old world charm and rustic elegance contrast with today, where the days of gentlemen and chivalry are long gone. As for the actual production of the commercials, everything you see was real. Jonathan actually had to shoot with live cougars and bears. He recalls having moments of concern on set with the cougar looking straight into his eyes while hissing, as well as a set with an owl that was perched on his arm that could have done major damage in an instant. Multiple cameras are used, including a vintage Bolex handheld used to give scenes a found footage look. They would shoot a number of bits, offering advice to those who want to be interesting. Find out what it is in life that you don't do well and then don't do that thing. After testing out the ads in a few select markets, the campaign went national in 2009 and quickly found its way into pop culture. Goldsmith won viewers over by blending old world charm with quirky exploits like parachuting out of an airplane in a boat. Due to the massive success of the campaign, the cameras kept rolling on Jonathan. The writing team would brainstorm more than 400 punchlines a year and whittled the list down to about 30 for TV and radio. A rich internet culture of fakes and memes parallel Jonathan's success, all trying to capture his glory and essence through imitation and tribute. Through the attention that the lovable, charming, and witty character brought, Dos Equis reaped the benefits. In 2009, the same year the campaign launched, case sales of imported beer in the US were down over 4% as beer drinkers turned to lower priced domestics, mainly due to the recession. Yet, Dos Equis sales, a Mexican beer, was up almost 22%. Dos Equis sales soared, more than doubling between 2006 and 2011 to more than 15 million cases sold in 2011. Dos Equis, which was once a low-profile brand sold mostly in Texas and California, had become the country's sixth largest imported beer by 2012. Now, let's not forget about our main character. Jonathan Goldsmith went from being a complete hobo to being one of the most recognizable faces in all of television. He was everywhere, from the sides of buses to billboards to cardboard cutouts. He experienced stars like Michael Jordan, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Jennifer Lawrence all approaching him like giddy fans asking for pictures. Even Barack Obama himself was a fan and invited John to attend his 50th birthday, one that was shared with only Barack's closest friends and Jonathan. For a decade, he starred as the most interesting man in the world, jumping out of helicopters, fighting with exotic animals, and impressing hundreds of women. After making Dos Equis millions, and himself millions, his reign as the most interesting man eventually came to an end. In 2016, 10 years after he first landed the role, Jonathan's final commercial would air, but it wasn't the end for the most interesting man in the world. In classic Dos Equis fashion, the last commercial featuring Goldsmith had him departing for a one-way mission to Mars. He also mentioned that the end of this role would allow him to consider other TV and ad opportunities, and he pursued just that. The rustic charm of Jonathan's character lives on through Astral Tequila, where he plays a very similar role as the most interesting man in the world. To this day, he is still the spokesperson and has made tremendous business for them. From being a hobo to being a hit, Jonathan Goldsmith had one of the best comeback stories to surface the internet. He was able to live out his acting dreams, make loads of money and marry the love of his life, Barbara. Yes, the same Barbara that was his manager. He now lives in Vermont with his wife and two dogs and couldn't be happier.